So now we look at the second horse. The first horse, we saw that it spoke about spiritual deception, the false Christs, the Antichrist, the false prophets. Revelation chapter 6, verse 3. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth, and so that people should slay one another, as he was given a great sword. So the second horse is called forth when the second seal is broken. And the second living creature says, come, in the similar manner as what happened with the first living creature. And we see a bright red horse and its, and its rider. You know, the color red is synonymous with blood. So literally, this horse is going to bring bloodshed across the earth. And once again, this horse was released after the ascension of Christ. And he is still around on the earth. And see, he is given the power to remove peace. And then people start killing one another. Man is so evil. If man is not limited or restricted, he would have killed each other even, even by now. Jesus actually awakens us to this truth in Matthew chapter 24. As I mentioned earlier in my video, we have to keep comparing certain books and sections with the book of Revelation to get a deeper understanding of what it really means. So Matthew 24 verse 6 and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not alarmed for this must take place but the end is not yet nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines and earthquakes and in various places so jesus is warning us here and he says when you hear of wars when you hear of rumors of wars he says, don't be anxious about it. Don't think, oh my goodness, why is this happening? It is already mentioned. It's already declared in the word of God. So Jesus says, don't be alarmed. Why? He says, these things must happen before the end. In other words, wars will be a reality. You will hear of rumors of wars, like people are talking. Do you know, but it may not be real. But again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm connecting that to even deception. So there's going to be deception, there's going to be wars that are going to be happening. See, when you think of, you know, the history of the world, when you think of the current day events that are happening, how many wars do you remember? So much of fighting and wars have been happening in the Middle East. You know, in the, in the recent past, we've, we've seen, you know, the carnage that happened in Syria. We see other countries, in Europe, in Asia, in South America. And therefore, it's interesting that it says that the horseman is given the power to remove peace. So therefore, you know, once again, I want to emphasize, God has established a wall of peace across the nations. And only when that is removed, that people are permitted to even go against each other. Humanity is looking for ways to destroy each other. If you look at the technology of war, it's not decreased, it's increased. And humanity has found a way to destroy one another in a more efficient manner. So the world is gearing towards just destruction. And so the Lord will come and he will bring that true peace. See, there's going to come where even peace is going to be brought to the earth, but it's going to be a false peace first. The pseudo Christ. That's deception. Not the true Christ. 
when the true Christ brings peace, that peace will always remain. The good news is that all life is not going to be ended. As we read in Matthew, Jesus says, these things will happen and then he will come back. But we need more of God's mercy. We need more of God's protection over each one of us. Here's a question to think about. Do you think that this will only happen to believers or does it happen to unbelievers as well? Something for you to ponder upon and maybe I might, you know, answer you in the coming videos. So we see that the second horse is a horse of destruction, of bloodshed. And sadly, many lives are going to be lost. But as Jesus said, do not get alarmed. These things have to happen. These things have to happen. Matthew 24, verse 22, And in those days, had not been cut short, no human being would have been saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. And if anyone says to you, look, here's the Christ, there he is, don't believe, for false Christ will come. So here the, the, the Lord is, is saying here so clearly, he's saying there's going to be suffering, there's going to be carnage. But for the sake of the elect, those days are going to be short. But it will happen. It will intensify. And we, as the body of Christ, need to have faith, need to be strong in the Lord. In conclusion, I would like to say our influence and our direction must come from the Lord. If we are influenced only by what we see happening around the world, we're going to lose sight of what God says. And I, I would encourage you that whenever you see things happening, that you first look to be influenced by the word of the Lord and by the Holy Spirit. So we conclude that with the second horseman, which is the horseman in red, who comes with a sword. And it's interesting how he is given the power to remove peace. He himself is not killing, but humanity begins to kill one another because peace is going to be removed from them.